what is up guys, Video Game Jam Poop back with another Mega Man Zero playthrough. This time we are doing Mega Man Zero 4. Oh boy, Mega Man Zero 4. The last Mega Man Zero game for the GBA. <laughs> so, yeah, this is also on Game Boy Advance. Uh, and of course Nintendo DS in the collection. But again, I'm on <coughs> Legacy Collection. On my Xbox One, and I'm gonna use Wallpaper 2 again for this game. So, um, this game is a little different because, um, because it's a massive story in this game. And, um, <laughs> and, uh, what else? Uh, yeah, and there's like diff and you don't collect cyber elves or secret discs like in the previous games. You collect something different, and it's how you get ultimate mode, along with uh, upgrading a cyber elf in the game. So uh, let's go into it, Mega Man Zero Four. Got a story. I'm gonna drink my chocolate as well. The Reploids. They were robots designed to look like humans. These technical marvels were given unique personalities and were intended to be the perfect workers and the perfect partners for mankind. But, the wheels of peace between Reploids and humans were beginning to grind to a halt. The Reploids were well designed, perhaps too well. Their human anatomy the humanity began to sow the seeds of rebellion. The robots were labelled as... <laughs> the, the text, come on. The humans decided to pit Reploids against Reploid. That was the fate gave to them. The Reploids fighting for humanity were never given a choice. Thus the war of the machines began and the humans just watched. War begot war. And time passed. Even with the construction of the utopian human city, Neo Arcadia, the war dragged on. The Mavericks defeated the leader of Neo Arcadia, and now, Neo Arcadia is under the control of the criminal Dr. Whale. The former Utopia is now only a shadow of its former glory. Many have started to flee the city. We are on those groups fleeing from the clutches of Dr. Whale in our caravan. Caravan. That gives a hint to this game. And that's because... Oh my god. It's trucks. Oh, and there's these guys following them. Ah! I should have grabbed a faster car! Neej, they're catching up! I know, I know, but this is as fast as I can, as I can go! Shoot! Dr. Whale is trying to bring us back! But the one and only... My dude! Zero is here, but don't say I'm gay. Please. It's not right. Zero, can you hear me? The enemy is headed for the caravan! Help them! Understood. Commencing mission. Play Zero's icon in this game. CL, I need some help with the trailer. Oh, that's cool. Alright, so we're in Mega Man Zero Four. So, notice we got another different weapon this time. We got the Zero Knuckle. What this does, you can steal weapons from enemies. So, like, let's say they have a gun. And then you can use them. You can use their weapon. So you can basically do Kirby, or basically Axel, in the, the other games. Uh, we'll go to that in a moment. Uh, the controls are yeah, the same. Then you also have the toss button, so if you want to throw away your items, then you can set that to a button. I have choose the Y button on my Xbox controller. Uh, command dash, that means you'll press right twice or left twice, depending, instead of just pressing the dash button. Uh, I will have that on, it doesn't really matter. Wait, what? Right, and then this is the elf system in this game. 
and then this part here, you can change pieces to these parts. Now, you, you have to unlock these in the game by creating parts, and I'll, uh, we'll go through that later in the game. Uh, but basically, they're basically parts for you, so uh, we can have double jump, and the body will have rolling, and for the head we'll have quick charge free. Those are my recommendations, and the parts, uh, we get these from enemies, and, I'll, and we'll show them off on the way. So yeah, that is what we're going to do for Zero Four. So these enemies, they can sometimes drop parts. And I mean, literally, they can sometimes. Like, not all the time, but... Like, most of the time they'll drop E-Crystals, and you still use e Yeah, these parts here. V-Fire we see up here, or Varian Fire, etc. Those are the parts. You must have all of them in the game to get Ultimate Mode in this game, to unlock it. But of course, I'm on casual scenario mode, so I don't really need to, but hey, sometimes we might get them anyway, we might end up having them. And these are in almost every enemy you can possibly think of. Now let's show off the stealing mechanic. Yeah, you can steal it, and then you can use the, the enemy weapon. How nice! You can also burn things, sometimes. And then you can toss it away by pressing the toss button. Zero! I'm detecting heat signatures! Zero, something's coming! Bring that trailer closer. I'll take care of it. Gotcha! Wait. What the hell? Oh my god! aircraft or something in the sand. Oh, we're going in. Yeah, and then this enemy. You can also, you can also grab onto objects now to climb up places. Which is kind of very cool, actually. Alright, and now for our first boss. This engine. And the warning's the same, so... And you can also you can also grab things to like uh, to reduce to reduce to reduce the lasers there, or get rid of them entirely. And you also have these guys uh, right here. And in fact, the enemy parts are just like the enemy names. So if you don't know them, then if you collect the enemy parts, then you'll know their name. And so maybe not because it might be just like something dot something. So yeah. Oh, we got an A rank. Godspeed Edge. We're gonna watch this cutscene. There's a lot of cutscenes in this game. There's new characters. It looks like everyone is okay. I'm surprised to see someone crazy enough to drive out here in the middle of nowhere. Do you always give lectures to the people you save? Well, thanks anyway. Neej, we don't have the time. We don't have time for this. Let's go. You're right, but there's time to say. But there's time to say thank you. I don't want the Reploids thinking we're ungrateful. We're ungrateful. Prepare to leave. I'll be there soon. All right. No good can come with de of dealing with Reploids. You're human? Yes, we are. Are humans outside of Neo Arcadia that, that rare? I guess so. Sort of. Zero! Zero? Zero, I'm glad you're okay. It looks like the vehicle is okay too. Thanks to you both. You saved us. Dr. CL. Huh? How did you know? Uh, who are you? The name's Neej. The, the, I'm human, just like you. I used to be a journalist who travelled the world. That's why I heard rumours about you and the Resistance. That you led the Reploids against the Arcadia. And are supposed to be very dangerous. 
Dangerous? We're not! I've heard a lot about you too. I knew you were in the resistance when I heard CL call your name just now. So you're the legendary Reploid Zero. We don't want any strange rumours being spread about us. There won't be. I'm just telling you what I've heard. But others might be... might think differently than me. I'll be seeing you. It's time for us to get going. Going? Where are you going anywhere? If you're human, then why don't you just stay in New Arcadia? You put all this together just to escape from there? Just stay there because we're human? You must be joking! Wait, you don't know... You don't know, do you? That place has changed! Didn't you see us getting attacked just now? It's terrible! It doesn't matter anymore! Human or Reploid, it's all the same! Anyone that opposes Whale is treated like a maverick! The evil Dr. Whale, who has driven away from Neo Arcadia, he controls all of the energy and production there and anywhere, all because some hero defeated the leader of Neo Arcadia! The great sanctuary for us humans is no more! But then that means... what we did was... The humans are afraid of being removed if they oppose Whale, so he rules unchecked. As long as they stay quiet and they stay safe. But who knows? Long before Whale decides to get rid of them too. That's why we fled from that place. We're heading for the settlement in Area Zero. Area Zero? There's a human settlement there? Then we'll go with you. Who knows when we'll, we'll strike next. Well, CL is human, but Reploids aren't welcome. Especially heroes like you. What's that supposed to mean? The settlement is full of people who were caught up in the Reploid War, so they don't take they don't take too kindly to Reploids. Humans aren't as strong or friendly as they might think. I won't tell the caravanners that you are the Zero that defeated the leader of New Arcadia. Don't get us involved in anything. Talk to you later. Humans, huh? Zero, we should get back to the trailer. Right. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> Something about the caravan bothering you? Yeah. I was shocked to hear that all of the humans at the settlement hated the Reploids. It's just I've... we've fought so hard for the Reploids, that I didn't know the other humans felt that way. Didn't they say the settlement was in a place called Area Zero? My name? That's where we should be heading to. They're struggling to maintain their independence from Whale, and we have to help them. Do what you feel is right. Thanks, Zero. I just need a little more time. My now might be a good time to drop by surveys for some maintenance after that gun and see the in fact I'm gonna skip yeah it's just about saving so we're gonna save the game took long to save <laughs> wow all saved right so let's so we got we're outside now we're not in like the resistance base now in this survey here hey zero <laughs> So, he will, you can create parts here, uh, this time. You don't get any new weapons, sadly, in this game. So, uh, so weapon recipe you can make. And we have two V-Fires. And then you can use parts and then you can create junk. Here. But if you, but if you combine, like, so say these, you can see they tell you what you need. And then, then you could create that part. It's very cool. 
including this one, the S crystal, uh, which is needed to get uh, not only a part of a secret armor called the Junk Armor or Galactor Armor, but also you need two of you need two more in the game to get uh, two sub tanks if you need to. So yeah. All right, so let's go here. Who's in one? Oh, it's Alette. A little girl. But we can't deal with her now. And in this room, we have this guy. And I don't know his or her name, but still. And then this way. Hey, Zero! I just received a video. I command to. Alright. Let's get this that guy. Like the CMD then. Hey, Zero. My girl. Do you find out anything about Area Zero? Yes. <laughs> I'll just. I'll just not read any text at all now because unless it's unless it's uh, pretty cool unless it's in a best area yeah we go to area zero all right all right and it's just one it, it's just one guy uh, transporting us now. Get same music from Zero Free when entering a level. And you have this best music. And you have these moles. Yeah, these can carry parts as well. And these can as well. Almost every enemy can carry parts. It's not just like, oh, this one can. Got a pop one. And he does. Yeah, and you can make Zero do right really weird noises as well. You can also kill enemies by throwing these parts as well, which is very weird. But I don't, you, you don't need to collect all parts in Ultimate Mode though. You only need to do that if, um, if you're unlocking Ultimate Mode. Obviously Hard Mode you unlock by just finishing the game anyway. But still, alright, let me get that. And then you can find a crab here as well. Oh, I got a part from him, wow. Yakaroid, I think it said. And what's this one? It's an R cannon. R cannon. Uh, that one's a beam walker, I think. Yeah, you can get it. From, you can get from these uh, these uh, exploded enemies as well, but they're very hard to get. They rarely appear. For like other enemies. Yeah, that one's a beam walker. Oh, I want that. Nice. <laughs> and then you automatically jump. You notice we have low health now. Well, that's because of something in the game. Uh, that's what Ultimate Mode does. You have to get uh, that health upgrade that we're going to do. Alright, and remember in Zero Free where we have to get an A rank? Well, in Zero Two as well, we have to have an A or S rank to get X levels. Like X skills. In this game, you don't. But you do something different, though. But first, we're fighting him. So, this guy. Yeah, he's very easy. Just. Just gotta. Alright, just gotta. Hurt him. Oh god, I almost, I almost died. Oh, so close! Right, where's he gonna go next? Is there... Alright, uh, I'm almost dead, so that's why I'm dodging. Got him! Oh, we got an A ring. Alright. And what do we get next? Uh, a chicken! Oh my god, I want to eat it! Kaka! What's sweeter than small stuff? I'm all for crushing Area Zero, but this is taking forever. I guess I don't have much choice but to follow Lord Whale's plan. Okay? 
looks like I missed a grunt. There's call me a grunt! Who are you? And where do you come from? I'll teach you to come here and insult me. You're not a no you're a noisy one. Now I'm mad! Come on! I'll show you! Oh, a wolf. Don't, don't steal all the fun, cockapetry. Oh my god! Yes! I want to be one of the lights! He's fire! Quiet! He's going into my dinner! You're the one who needs to be quiet. You weren't back on the time, so we had to come find you. By the way, who is that red blade standing over there? <laughs> it is that Zip. His name is Zero. Uh, there was there was data on him in Lord Wales' master plan. Mingo Mino Magnus, try to speed it up next time. Zero, so this red blade is our target. We should take care of him here and now. Ah! Time's running! Leave him! Oh wait, time's running, leave him. Oh, we have this guy. We're only here to investigate Area Zero. You don't have clearance to fight. Oh, come on, Commander Kraft. You aren't saying we should just leave the enemy, are you? We need the power of Ragnarok to destroy this much nature. Once Ragnarok has begun, the Red Floyd... One Reploid will be beneath our concern. There's no time to deal with him now. Destroy the nature in Area Zero? Just what are you trying to do? My name is Kraft. I am a soldier of Neo Arcadia. No, Lord Whale. Oh my god. We, Lord Whale, requires all nature to be destroyed. Lately, there are lots of independent humans thinking the world outside New Arcadia is better. That's why we must make sure it isn't by burning it. But nobody will have delusions of escaping Lord Whale. Pecop, pecop. Who would then choose nature over Lord Whale anyway? I can believe it. Humans are so foolish. Oh, Commander Kraft. Is the is the leader of the Enjar, the eight warriors. The eight of us will destroy the environment. Then, as part of Lord Whale's plan, we will destroy Area Zero as well. That is Ragnarok. You see, Zero, there's nothing you can do. You're not a threat to Lord Whale. Uh, I think I am. You'll come and to understand this world belongs to Lord Whale. One one person can't change the world. Heroes are blah, 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 blah. How just... uh. are these all gonna go? So we got these to fight. Oh boy. Transferring in two, one. Transferring complete. Welcome back. Alright, so first, we still take control here of zero, so what we can do... We'll go to Owlet next. The little girl. So then we can, um... So then we can actually, we get this. So we can't evolve Elf because... In view effect. We can upgrade it to max. So yeah, we can upgrade it all to max. And then... Oh wait, no, no! Okay. We got lots of health now! Well, no, we're not at a lot of health, but I mean... Got maximum health points. Hey, you stop! <laughs> oh yeah, because Zero was not allowed here. You're a reploid, so this is the thing. Get out of here! Oh boy. Ah, 
Yeah, they're just arguing. <laughs> oh my god. Apparently they don't want us in. At all. Okay, so we select a mission and then this is our select. Now this is our select screen. So we got quite a few here. We've got Tech Kraken, uh, Mino Magnus, Fenry Lune Edge, uh, Poplar Cockapetri, he's the chicken. Uh, Pegasol Eclair, uh, Soul Titanian, uh, Noble Mandrago, and Heat Gemblin. Now, you notice some of these have, like, glowing things on the icons. That means they are, like, the harder versions of the stage. That is how you get the, um, the X skills in this game. You have to beat them in those forms. Uh, if they're not shining, that means they're easier. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go with Mino Magnus first. Because he's like the hardest in the game, sort of, because he's massive. So we'll go with him first. Zero, be careful! Yeah, I know. We got rock hard, badass music. And then we float here. We kind of float. Alright. Then we have uh, the Zax guy. I wanna. Ah, oh, I wanna Zax. You notice the elf can also. Um, the elf can also. Um, uh, do that. Uh, have, like, projectiles flying out of it. That's another thing it can do, depending on what elf is selected. Alright, so. Just gonna. This way. We have these guys right here. Then you notice we have this around us. So with this, it's like Magnus, and then on this we float. Yeah, it's like how Magnus works in real life. It's really funny. Ooh. And then we can float here. It's very amazing, this. And then the electrics will only appear if you select the harder part of the stage. If you select the easy one, they won't appear. Right. Yeah, and also if you're playing on easy mode, uh, you cannot get the harder versions of the stage, meaning you cannot get X skills whatsoever. Oh yeah, and then you have these enemies. Uh, so like these mini bosses. And they can some of these if they have enemies, they can drop parts. Uh, so if you need a part, you'll have to wait for an enemy to come out and then you can destroy it. Right, get in there, and then we float, and then we could go all the way up here. We could just cheat this. It's also how I can get. You can get parts from these fans as well. <laughs> oh, I have water in my nose. Oh, God. It's pretty much the only way you can get parts here, just to like sneak up behind it and then apparently fall down. And then, same thing with these enemies. Uh... Alright. Here we go. Yes, Magnus. Oh boy. Apparently, he's uh, a lion. <laughs> And yeah, you have these magnets as well. He's only the hardest because he's massive. And he does this. Pretty much almost hard to dodge his all his attacks. And he's weak to ice. But there are no elemental... Uh, there's, there's no elemental uh, attacks in this game, unfortunately. It's only from hell. Sadly. But you do have 
Yeah, so, but from the X skills, you do have elemental weaknesses from those, luckily. So, from Magnus, we get an, an X skill, for instance. We pause the game and then... Well, we got that, uh, the tractor shot. But, um, doesn't really do anything, that one. But, still, and then we can choose another one. And it is random. You can choose to change the weather as well. It changes the weather as well, so... Uh, next, we'll do... I'll do, we'll do, uh, what should I do next? We'll do, we'll do, uh, the chicken next, Poplar Cocker Pret Tree. Okay, here we go. Great, here we go. Alright, here we go. Chicken stage. Because I want to eat it. Alright. <laughs> Yeah, it's staged like a street. It's strange for a chicken. Uh, you would expect like a farm for a chicken, but still. Ooh. Yeah, we got the medu- Oh, wow. But now my battle battle. Yeah. Door shot. In here. Just gonna go through these enemies. I'm gonna, I'm gonna basically speed through the stages as well. Alright. I'm just going to speed through the stages as well, so. And you have these things. In easy mode, these don't appear, but in ultimate mode and the other modes, they do. And you have to dodge them. Whoa! Oh, God. And they're very hard to dodge. Hard to avoid, even. And you cannot pass through some of them unless they're in a certain position. And we're doing that animation again. Come on, there we go. You can just skip cutscenes as well. Uh, I'll do that sometimes, but maybe not all the time. And then you can just you just pull these things out right here, right here. Just pull that out and then go here. If you go, if you defeat the ones at the bottom, you can access a secret passage, but. But I don't really do that that often. I just go through this normal way. So right here. Oh, and this thing, this capsule, it can take enemies out and then you can get parts from those as well. So not just the capsule, but also the enemies inside it. And there are three enemies that can come out. So yeah, that's the other one we can come out of. If we pick the other route or route. And then Mets are in this game. Uh, the ones from the previous Mega Man the Classic and X series. They're in this game. Well, actually, there are... Oh, crap! <laughs> Technically, the Mets are in the other Zero games as well, but you have to use the Cyber Elf to see them. Uh, which basically turns all the enemies into Mets. But in Zero Four, because you can't do that, they made it so that you can see the Mets as normal enemies as well. Alright, so right here also grab onto these. Yeah, that's another new thing in Zero Four. You can grab onto things. And you can still die from the goddamn spikes. Oh my god, I thought you could just have protection from them or something. But nope, you still die because Capcom really likes making, making Mega Man games a rage game. Thing. <laughs> and you can sometimes find parts throughout the stage. Those ones are called Certanium. They're, they're not enemies. So, chicken! So yeah, he's a chicken. I want to eat him. Okay, yeah, he's, you can clearly tell he's a chicken because he uh, makes chicken noises. And like it, like in, in Mega Man X8, we have a third rooster. The uh, popular Cocker Factory is based on the name Cockerel, uh, which I guess is what the British call them. Uh, for male chickens. Oh, whoa! Okay. <laughs> we slashed him up. Yes, I can eat him. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. <laughs> okay. I don't know what you guys are going to think about that, but still. Transferring in two, one. 
Welcome back. <laughs> okay. Alright. Alright. Uh, now we'll go... We'll go to this guy next. Uh, we'll change the weather. Because you can do that. And that storm weather is only in Magnus' stage, and it's exclusive to that one. The others are in uh, others, though. Either rain or sun or snow. So you can see the snow there. But you cannot, you cannot break it down unless you use the fire. <gasps> oh, God. Yeah, the fire can bring it down. And the snow there, you can access a secret passage there. It's how you get a sub tank in the game. Um... But I'm not really going to bother with that, uh, that much, because I don't really need her to pass them. Yeah, this stage music sounds creepy a bit as well. Oh, we got this part. Oh, wait, I saw another. Yeah, I, uh, when I see them, I'll collect... No, don't go back or Go that way. Yeah, and then that can go up itself, so then... Alright, here we go. We just slash our way through. Just slash our way through. Slash the way. Oh, and this enemy. Now, you can get parts out of this guy. But I recommend um, turning the hack, turning these off, and then only having like so turning basically all except two of the animals off, and then then you don't have the uh, projectiles flying out of the um, of the uh, elves. That is how you can get a lot of parts here easily. So meaning it's the easiest way to get them. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna do that. So then you can get a lot of parts here. You can get a lot of E crystals easily here. It's pretty much the best way you can get them. Yeah, serpent gear you get here. Yeah, that is what you can get here, Serpent Gear. And apparently I cannot get that one now because of the cutscene. Or can I? Oh, I can, yes! Let's see how many Serpent Gear we've got. Six. Yeah, just do that and then after that you can enable these again. It's pretty much the easy way you can get them. And there's Mets here as well. Throw that. There we go. Oh wow! No, not that. All right. It don't matter though because we can climb up here again. Whoa! And then we just go there. And there's a secret door. That is where we. That is why we needed to take the secret path because then you get a disc. And then um. And then go in there and you find the soft tank. You notice these lights thing as well. You can collect them. And you have a torchlight, which is needed to get some cyber elves. So these things, if you're in the easy version of the stage, then you'll have, like, flashlights at the end of it. So then it'll kill them, and then sometimes you'll get, like, uh... Like, you can sometimes... Oh, there was something there. You can sometimes get, like, uh, the parts of that. So here's the wolf. Moon edge. And they all speak Japanese in the English version. Yeah, so then he turns into a ball. And thankfully, I do... You can you can still hold up to them and do the up slash. Right. It almost sounds like he says the N-word, but not really. Don't ask why, but still. Uh, am I gonna get an A rank all the time in this playthrough? <laughs> because I, it seems like I'm getting it all the time. 
It seems like an A rank is easy in this game. Right, and this time we get this, the Ice Blade. So you hold down and then you get like a slash attack. Very amazing. Right, so one more before we go mid-stage and then... Right, we'll do this one, Tech Kraken, next in the deep sea. Because this stage is pretty unique compared to the others. Because for one, it's a water stage. But second, in the first part of the stage, you have a timer, so you must escape quickly, so like Metroid. But you've got to get in fast as possible. So you have 140 seconds. I think it's uh, slightly more if you're on easy mode or something, but I don't know. I kind of forgot. But it's 140 seconds for ultimate mode. And you've got to basically get to the end as fast as you can. There's titanium there as well. And you can also have you also have enemies that do appear in some later stages, but not exactly all of them, so. But thankfully you can revisit all other stages. But there are a few exceptions, like, obviously the intro stage, the caravan stage, obviously you cannot re-enter that. Because it's the intro stage of the game. Um, well, the caravan intro stage, at least. Oh, we got an extra life! Now, I'm not going to get that certain because it's just going to be a waste of time. But I could try and get those balloon things. Can we go in here? And just go into a door. Right here. And then we've done it. We have to continue the rest of the stage, though. And then right here, we have a, a bird or a dragon? I don't know. And he's weak to the um, fire. But of course, we don't really have fire. We only have elf fire, so... So I prefer to use this uh, rolling slash. Because apparently it does more damage. And then we'll go further again. <laughs> do Mario wall jumping. Uh, please do not steal Mario wall jumping. Do your own Mega Man uh, kind of thing. Alright. Come on. No. Uh, we should have those. Uh, cap yeah, those capsules. There. Yeah, I knew these were here. Yeah, sometimes enemies rarely drop parts. Like, some enemies rarely have them. But others, you can get them quite a lot of times. Uh, it's basically like a random thing. Yeah, these things rarely happen. You might not get at them a lot. So, but thankfully you can just respawn them and then they'll come. Sometimes, eventually. And there's Tech Kraken. I'm guessing he's like the brother of Vault Kraken or Squid Alvler in X5. Oh, before we went in there, there we go. And they can grab you right here. And if it's big, that means he's coming out. Oh no! One more. Alright, I wanna. Come on. Oh yeah, I slashed him in half. There we go. Do forgive me. And we got an A rank again. Oh my god, am I gonna get an A rank for the entire playthrough or something? I don't know. Transferring in two, one. Transfer complete. Welcome back. <laughs> All right. Sound like a shop till person. And then that sound effect means we got another stage, a mid stage. Yeah, we'll save first, of course. And I've got an A rank still. Wow. It's impressive how you get an A rank oh, quite a lot of times. Pencil. Right. Zero! Now in this stage. And you have really great music here. And you have these frog enemies. Uh, you have frogs. Uh, uh, and you you get parts from them as well, and they can lick you, of course, because frogs always do that, they lick people, and all that. <laughs> Except their licks are really dangerous. Don't recommend licking them. <laughs> Alright. 
Alright, uh, so. Oh, yeah, you Whoa! Okay. The best part of the music is this. And recognize this area? It's the settlement. Oh, and these, these, these enemies, the Moloids, uh, and they only appear in this stage. And then you have to save these settlement guys. But yeah, those Molod enemies with the with the hammers, they only appear in this stage, and this stage is not revisitable. You cannot revisit the stage whatsoever. Um, well, without hacking, of course. I don't know if hacking the game works, but still. But in actual gameplay, you cannot revisit it. So yeah, and it's the only time you can get these parts. So if you want to create parts, I recommend getting a maximum of those right now, when you play through this stage. Or quite enough, because there's only a few parts you need that, that, that needs the Moloid to create. And also, one of the areas will need water, but of course, we'll just damage boost for here. Boom! There we go. And we took damage. And there are these guys. Thank you for saving us, Mr. Right, and then we've gone up here to see what's up here. It's just more energy. Right, let's go down here. And... Craft! Oh boy. Craft. Craft? Ah, zero. And then we gotta fight Craft. And he is the hardest enemy in this game. The hardest boss, uh, rather. Sort of. Besides the final boss. Because he's almost rigged, because you can literally almost take damage from almost anything. Like, he has this massive laser you have to try and dodge. Oh, and he does that as well, if you have an A-Rang. And then just listen. <laughs> Sounds like me coughing or wheezing. Oh boy. Oh boy. But we, we've not killed him, though. It. Oh, Nija's here. Or is it Nage? I don't know. <laughs> it's the way you spell it. <laughs> oh, he's kidnapping her. Oh my god. Alright, transferring in two, one. Transferring complete. Welcome back. And we have got yet another mid stage we have to do. We've got to talk to the operator. And it's in the prison. And we've got to save Neach. Oh, we've got a message. <laughs> You got mail. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> like she always says that. Does she like care for him so much? <laughs> and it's night time somehow. Oh yeah. And these wheel enemies. Oh, we got the Kerberos. That's what these enemies are called. There's absolutely nothing here at all. I'm guessing... I, I bet there is, though. I bet it's just, like, helpful somehow. And then we have fans here. We have spiders. Right. 
No, we just gotta pass through this. Oh, we got the E laser. The E laser. The E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E and then we have this guy. The giant. Or is it the hell giant? I don't know. Whoa! He is a little bit difficult because of dodging his attacks and that. But you'll get a hang of it. Whoa! Okay. Whoa! 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 No! There we go. And we'll just go through this door. Then. Then. Need. Zero. Wait, what? You fell in love? What? Oh my god. That is why you kidnapped her. Okay then. There's Dr. Whale. Kind of looks... Sort of looks different from Zero Three, but not that much. And then here's the coolest thing about this cutscene. Okay. What a trick! Ah, I can't see. You'll pay for that. Scoundrels escaped! <laughs> yeah, it's the funniest cutscene ever, I guess. It's the best way to escape. Just destroy the floor. Okay. One. Oh, boy. Wait. You can transport as well? Yeah, the signal is wrong, apparently, so we got to do this stage. Just to get signal outside. Apparently, Nish can escape, but Zero cannot. He has to go outside to escape. Perhaps his signal isn't strong enough. Probably because he's a dude man. He's a full man. He's the muscular man. <laughs> just press the button and then boom, we're just going to escape. Or we could just... I don't think you can destroy these ever. So that is why we just uh, hold, hold these down and then it's also the most similar thing. Right, just go quickly. But I bet some of these are rigged, almost rigged, because you can literally almost not escape. Alright, right here we can... Um, we have not only Kerberos, but also all of these. And up here, somewhere, we have more Seratinium that you can get. Alright, let's just go, go here and then boom! We're outside. Now we can have a signal. And a nice uh, sunset. A rank. Welcome back. Alright, uh, yeah, we'll go back to the stages. Uh, what should we do next? Uh, which one? Um, let's do Pegasus Eclair next. Who is a Pegasus? Pegasus. 
Do your best, Zero. Yeah, he will. Oh, hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, guys, uh, I just had a phone call. So, all right, I'll do this stage, and then... Like, obviously, this is going to be one video, but I'll do, like, the rest of the recording, like, on another day. So then, um... So I can combine these into two. Uh, so, I'll do this stage first, and then, we'll, and then I'll head off. So, yeah. So, playing a salty flare stage. So, we have clouds here that can push you. Right here. Alright, and then. Alright. Oh, and then we have uh, the triathlon. This sounds like triforce. Then you have these things. You don't, I don't think you have to destroy them, but you can if you want. Alright, just gonna. Just gonna here. And then that ice thing, you can, that waterfall thing, you can melt and then get more titanium up here. Alright, here we go. We have an electric dragon now. Sure, there's a lot of dragons in this game, sort of, but you fight. Alright, uh, Go. There we go. Okay, here we go. All right, uh, what's up here? Uh, just more crystals. Whoa, 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 whoa! Where was our... Oh, thank God it was here. Wait. Wait a minute. Oh, it is here. So, okay. Thank God, I thought I had to fight that enemy again. Here. There's the boss door. Alright. I will smite the. Uh, yeah, I forgot how to it. King Adelasi. King Adelasi. And then we're just gonna. Get him. Then. And then he'll do that attack. Sometimes he'll do that uh, charging attack as well. And he's weak to ice, I think. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, sometimes if you have a cyber elf, you can, you don't die from the pit. You can just come back. Just normal. Yeah, you'll do that sometimes. Just gotta slash him. And, come on. Boom. Skipping up a queenie. Oh, boy. God. Again, an A rank. Wow. It's impressive. Oh my god. Right, of course, I'm gonna end the recording here, but I'm not gonna end the video. But I'm just gonna end the recording so I can, uh, end this, so I can do the rest of this video next time because I've gotta go to bed. Because I'm very tired. Uh, we'll, yeah, we'll do those stages next and then save the game for now. Save the game. So, I'll do the next recording um like a different day maybe tomorrow i don't know uh, well it depends um of course i've got that um save state as well i can do in case so all right back for another recording guys see you then okay guys i'm back from another recording session so this is the other recording session. It will be in one video, of course, when I do finish this. 
And so we have got Pegasol Eclair's um, weapon here. So, uh, oh, I'll also change to that because that looks very cool. So yeah, uh, now who shall I do next? Um, 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 We'll do um, Soul Titanium next in the Sunny World. Oh boy! Do your best, Zero. Yeah, I know. And you got a percentage counter up here. And what is that, you may ask? Well, when you go in this, it's basically a percentage counter, and when it goes to 100, uh, you take damage. And depending on what difficulty of the stage you play, uh, the less damage or the less time the percentage will go up. And it also depends you kill these as well. So the less you kill, the more you kill, the less time it will likely to go up. Still. But sometimes I tend to avoid them since they're pretty much easy to. It's pretty much easy to go through. Like the next few ones are like up here. Oh, I think the next one's right here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, we got V fire again. <laughs> And then we have this mini boss right here, and you can also get parts from this, but but obviously there's only like less enemies this time, so like you're likely not. To go. But obviously it doesn't matter for us now, but still. There we go. All right, on to the next part of the stage then. Oh. Okay. Grab it. Oh, apparently not. Apparently fire can kill it as well. Alright. That come on. Alright, the Sandos that we've got. Uh, those enemies. Okay. Yeah, these are also likely to not really drop any parts. Oh, I've got two in one. Wow. Third. One more around here. It's not fair. Well, there was, but we skipped a few. And then there's the boss door. We fight titanium. You can tell it's a girl. Because we're winning. <laughs> Alright, well, there we go. Go. Cut it out. <laughs> we got her. We got the gal. And we got her X skill. I seem to be getting an A rank a lot in this game now. Am I gonna get an A rank for the entire playthrough? Seriously? That was so Yeah, I know you were. And then we just get this. This is useful for the final boss, but by the way. Alright, next stage. We'll go to Mandrago's stage next. Who is another good girl in this game. And then we'll go to the other guy. The turtle like guy. Are you better? Yeah, I know. This time we're in a garden. We're in a grassy area. Yeah, this music is really nice. It's really rocking as well. Good. And then we fall down here. Oh, then this is the best part to grab things. 
Yeah, it's literally the back part to like grab things. Oh, we got a part here as well. Yeah, we got that. Oh, come on. Right, there we go. Yeah, they can grow back, unfortunately. Oh, okay. And there's also some secrets here. You get a slider through. You slide through that. Oh! Slide through these, and then you find uh, an extra life here. And on the other one, on the other side, we're gonna go through. We're just gonna go through the rest of the stage. We have this guy right here. Yeah, I think I should just do this. There we go. We killed him. Oh, come on! No! Oh, no! Oh, thank God it spawned in here. I'm lucky. That's why we got these to, like, save you and that. Oh, yeah, there's another one right here. Go through and then you find certanium. So yeah. Yeah, certanium can be found in most of stages. Some not resistible, but still. And you notice this up here. You go up here. You find a sub tank. Yeah, that's one of the sub tanks you find here. The other is in a, a Lunar Edge stage. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, yes. Go, 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 go. I've got a watery eye for some reason. I have no idea why. And I'm not upset anyway. And there's Mandrago. So, to fight her, a little bit difficult because she can regain health throughout some parts of the fight uh, by doing that reflect thing. As you can see there, she can regain health back. And then if you get caught from these, it means bees will chase you and you have slipping controls. And then we cut then we just cut her in half. Yeah, cut the girl. Oh, my um, eyes wet. Nah, it's wet. Alright. Uh, an A rank again when we got her X skill. Okay. Alright. We know, we know. Alright. Now for this guy. Uh, heat gambling. Here we go. Change that again. And then we don't need to change the weather at all uh, for the rest of the game. Do you miss zero? Yeah, I know. See ya. My girl. Yeah, this music is very bad as well. Oh, we got the reflect beam, I think it's called. I think it's set up there. Ow. We have these guys. This guy right here. This guy. Oh my god. Alright. Oh, beam walker. Found. Right. Oh wow, I, I literally went for it because uh, because of the um Oh! Two Ganga guns! Wow. And a reflect beam. Alright, time for yet another dragon. How to kill your dragon. Oh boy. So you know how to train your dragon, uh, DreamWorks movies? Well this time we we do how to kill your dragon. And you just do this. Whoa! Uh, okay, wow! Uh, okay. And then this part. 
we have this particle beam right here. And you've got to duck under quick before it goes back. Now, if you're in easy mode, uh, this is slightly quicker in that. Oh, we've got a fatal. Right here. Yeah. And these, these actually carry a very great weapon. Uh, that you could use uh, if you steal it. You can only steal it when they're like on the other one, so, so this way you can. So we got the Flame Sword. Oh, and we found some more Certanium. Right here. So yeah, we got the Flame Sword. I oh, so watery, it's like I'm upset when I'm not. God damn it. I don't know why, I think it's something like that. Jesus Christ, it's so, it's so wet and watery. Ah, no! Alright. Like, it wasn't yesterday, but still, it happens randomly. I don't know if it's because, you know, you know like, the tears inside you are, like, full, and they can't hold too much, and so they're forced to come out when you're not sad or anything. So it could be that, I don't know. Right, and then there's Gemblin. Tojo Kaishi! Toto Saichi! <laughs> Sounds like he's saying. And he could also dodge attacks with a shield. Oh! And he can literally do Street Fighter moves. This is when I recommend you attack him. Right here. Because you can hurt him a lot of times. Go. Oh, time! Alright, I wanna try and use my flame sword. Or at least. Oh! I throwed my flame sword at him! Good boy, Zero. Good job, my boy, Zero. My dude. Don't say I'm gay. And we've got all of the uh, Mavericks. I, I don't know if they're Mavericks in this Take game or off. anything, but still, uh, I, I think they are. But we got all of them in the game, so we go through the last whale stages, Dr. Whale stages, or Dr. Viral stages. Uh, yeah, we'll save from the girl CL, who's in love with Zero and wants to share a bed. <laughs> no, okay. No, I'll not go too far there. All right. You're receiving data. Oh, there's one of the other transporters who's not in this game. According to the icon. Yeah, and there's Whale right here. Probably hit my button mashing. Oh my god! It's like the um It's like the final weapon in X4. Oh my god! Craft is gonna destroy Earth! No! Billy's no! No, 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 We must stop him now! <gasps> get there quick! Get there quick! I don't want I don't want the world to be destroyed! No, 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 no! <laughs> I'm acting like a, a person who... I don't know. Yeah, this this music is so badass as well. Alright, let's go through, there we go. Whoa, okay. Get get that. Yeah, this music is really good. It's called Straight Ahead. Because you literally are going straight ahead to the end of the game, so that's what you're doing. Come on. Oh, there was a part I couldn't get. Oh, I got a sly nose. I got a no! Oh, thank God we have a cyber elf with us to help us on our way 
from misery to happiness today. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Zero's on his way from misery to happiness today. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> Alright. Ha! God. Oh, there we go. Oh, and. No! We're dying! Well, at least not zero. It's already fired. CL, respond! It's not working. What's going on up there? Craft! Zero, what are you doing here? I won't let you fire again! You were after whale, weren't you? Ragnarok is charging up for a second shot. This will change the world and the people in it. Do you think Niche would approve of what you're doing? I know what I'm doing. It makes me it makes me seem like whale, but I don't care if people think I am a maverick. Well you are. Uh, someone has to take a, a sand to fix humanity's course. Alright, um, Right. Whoa, whoa! Immediately he does that attack. Oh crap! Alright. So we fight him a second time. So we gotta. Ooh. Yeah, just gotta. And him again! Whoa! I think he do I think he will do that attack more because we have an A rank. Oh, and he does this as well. Alright, dodge. Wow! Almost did. Got him! We kill him! Yeah! Ding dong, Craft is dead! Wait, no, this is not Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Alright. We're only Reploids designed for war. It's not our place to change the world. That's up to humans like CL and Niege. As Reploids, we can only lend strength to those we trust. Trust? And just who should I be trusting? The humans do nothing while their world falls apart. The humans that fear us, their own creations, or the humans that try to conquer the world. We fight each other for them. This world screams out in pain under them. Why should I trust anyone? Because I don't. How can you trust them? How can you fight? I made a promise to a friend I intended to keep. To someone believed harmony between human and reptile. What's possible? I trust that friend. And I trust that I trust the humans and that friend trusts. I see. I couldn't even bring myself to trust Nij. Even though she has always only told the truth. Ah Craft! Leave my body here. I can no longer face Deej. I don't want to, to cause her to suffer anymore. I will do as you asked. Zero. The humans, the reploids, the world, and Deej watch over them. Uh. And he's dead. Zero, respond! CL, I stopped Ragnarok. And Craft? And Craft. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. Mission complete. I'm coming back from misery to happiness today. <laughs> Cobalt team here. Mission complete, CL. Oh god, what's happening? The humans and reploids have been evacuated. Neo Arcadia has been erected eradicated by Ragnarok's attack. There is nothing but a crater in the center where Whale was. I doubt there were any survivors in that area. I see. Good work, everyone. Continue to search for any survivors. Acknowledged. CL, are you okay? I'm okay. Just a little tired. Go to sleep, then. 
Incoming communication from an outside line. It's from the settlement. I'll catch it in. Zero. Leech? It was just like you said. It doesn't matter what I do. As long as I keep fighting, I'm no different from the from whale. And I... I had to fight Kraft. No, Zero. Thank you. For stopping Kraft. Ragnarok and New Arcadia are no more! Is it finally over? Uh, no. So many humans and Reploids lost their lives. Zero! Did we do the right thing? I don't know. Oh my god, no! Shooting again, no! Oh, but we're not dead. What was that? It, it came from Ragnarok. It's still operational. But Whale and Kraft are gone. Who could be controlling it? Operator, send me back to Ragnarok. I can't. The only the control room is connected. There's a protection around the circuit to the center. We can only transfer you from the access part of the trailer. Ragnarok is accelerating, and it's heading straight for... What's wrong? It's heading straight for Area Zero. Someone's trying to crash it! No! What? There's still time for... Before it touches down, but we can't disable the circuit protection from here. Isn't there something we can do? Zero, CL, you okay? Neej, Ragnarok is... I heard. I'm sending over some coordinates. You might be able to reach Ragnarok with these. Wh where do these go? To the teleporter base in Neo Arcadia. It was originally designed to transfer troops. I might have just enough power to get you over to Ragnarok. Coordinates received from the settlement. Inputting now. Zero! If that's our only chance, it's one I have to take. Coordinates in the to teleporter base have been set. Transfer to T base? Yes. Alright, ready to transfer. Zero! Come back to us! Yeah, I will. And then, yeah. So we got another mission. We got four doors this time. And I'm gonna go in this one first. You could do any you could do any order you want, but I, I'm gonna do this way. Uh, first. Like I, I just use random as well. But it doesn't matter which one you do first. You can do any first. And I died. God damn it. God damn it, Zero, my dude. It's okay. It's not your fault. Never again. I'm not here, Zero. Shut up. Alright, so, um, anyways. And then we go through these doors right here. And then. You notice a room full of these things, just like in a Zero Three, where you fight them. It's the best way you can get these parts to cross binds. Should they also be called cross binds as well? You might be thinking you have to kill them all. No. What you have to do is pull these, and then it kills all of them in the room. And then you get out of the room, and then go through the rest of them until you've done all of them, and then you go back to the entrance. And then you'll fight a boss. That is what you do in this stage. Alright, we'll go up here next. Right here. Yeah, we got these fires. Oh, we got another part. Oh, thank God. Oh, and then these. Oh, wow, I can do a charge shot there. Oh, my God, my eyes are going water again. For no reason. Alright. And 
go. Two left. Go in this one next, and then we'll go to the other one. Or the bottom one, rather. And then we're in the water, we have these frog enemies again. So you can get these um, enemy parts again. Just uh, have to go in this stage, and in this part. So if we were these enemies, yeah, the Koros. And then we go through here, and then pull that. Oh, I, I, I don't think it's possible to do it without letting these enemies spawn at all. But it's impossible. Unfortunately. Right, so get oh, we got another need balloon. Oh, for some reason. Zero, go down, save the world. And then here you have to wait. Uh, if you have Elton, you'll have to wait here, unfortunately. Then we make these fall down here. Then we just gotta do the same thing again, I guess. Right. right and then we can go down here. Right, we're just gonna wait for these. No! Right, this this got no. Oh we got these this time. Telebomb is what they are. Right, there we go. Oh, come on! Alright, there we go. Right, it's good when that's here. There we go. And then again. There we go. Now we can go past every room now. Ah, oh, I didn't touch that either. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. It's good. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that save point's gone. Oh, these enemies. I don't know if you can get parts from those. Alright, here we go. Boss time. Okay, so we have this guy right here. Alright, so we're just gonna dodge these star like attack things. Alright, and then got that and then you don't have to destroy these but you can do it. I just have to do it. There we go. Come on. And then that again. Sometimes it will go like do do it sometimes like that, but for me it's doing this. Good sound in the world though. Oh, we got him! Yeah, we got him there! Hell yeah! We got him! In the face! Zero's talking down! And I've got to be rank! He can put a coordinates, done. Now you can reach Ragnarok! Okay, yeah, we can now go to Ragnarok again. Drive to Ravon in two, one! Welcome back, Zero! <laughs> Alright. Oh, I forgot to enable these. Alright. So we got these from the, uh. For the Robot Masters, of course. Or should I say, well, the, um. 
Uh, so yeah, we got those. Oh wait, hold on. Okay. Yeah, we got like quite a few parts, but we don't. But they're not actually needed for this playthrough, of course. Uh, let's go to uh, the second to last stage. It's right here, the teleport circuit, and that is the reactor control and the teleport base. So that's the reactor control. Just gotta go there. Alright, so the teleporter base and this milk in the background. <laughs> oh no no, I think it I think it's just part of the or something. I don't know. It's way in like a cyberspace like area. Oh, it's very cool. Let's go go through the cyberspace. Whoa, okay. Wait, can I dash through these? No, I can't. Unfortunately. Oh, we got E laser. E laser. Did we get any mechs? Oh, we got another E laser. Alright, so. Throw the item away. Throw it right here. Oh, and there we go. The, the, I don't know what that said. But yeah, you can get a pass from these as well. There we're in the uh, tech cracking stage. Oh, yeah. We got this fire attack now. Right. I mean spikes. Well, since when does that ever fire? All right. Um. All right. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God it's not the the period of the period of disappearing blocks. Oh, more e lasers! Wow. I'm surprised I couldn't grab a mat. But yeah, if you grab a mech, it's just the shield, and then it's only used once, though. You can, if you touch an enemy with it, then. This is a protection program? Why do I sound like Luigi? <laughs> is this Luigi or something? No. Oh. Huh. Huh. Crap. And then we can dodge that right there. Right. Whoa, no! <laughs> okay. Hey, come on. Oh, no! Don't fall down there! Yes! Oh, wow! We're grabbing on the ledge when we're finishing, wow. And again, we got an A rank. Are we getting an A rank for the entire playthrough? Protection has been disabled. You can head to Ragnarok anytime now. Hurry back, Zero. Transfer running down. One, go. If we don't stop Ragnarok, Area Zero is done for, and the last nature will go with it. We can't, we can't fail. The world is counted on you, and make sure you come back, okay? Yeah, I know. But before we go to the last stage, let's actually look around. In fact, we'll save first, because I want to, because I want to save. 
the data for the game. We got 32 minutes we've done, yeah. And then now we've done like 42. Wow. Just just 10 more. Alright. Let's see what we can what we can make. Can we make an X crystal? No, because we don't have mechanism. So it's one of those um, uh, capsules we have to get. But we could make more junk. Right, and then just one more V fire. And then. Some gear. How much junk have we got? We've got six. So I want to try and get maximum of these. Nine. There we go. We got maximum junk. Oh boy. I don't think that's useful though, but still. Now nah, we don't need more of yours. Right. You can even go on top of it and then boom! We're back in the intro stage now. Nah, not really. Right. Squad alert! We are off! <laughs> Alright. Well, we don't need to go back to our uh, all this guy. Yeah, that other guy he just gives you um, a. So we're in the settlement. As you say, area zero. And then here we'll find Neej. Zero, you finally come this far. You are a true legend. As a journalist, or just here as a human being, I have thousands of questions, but those can all wait for another day. Zero, just make sure you come back in one piece. Alright. Just acting like CL. So I'm guessing they accept Zero to come into the cell now then? Thank you, Zero. So I guess. Uh, I'm guessing every Reploid except Zero are still not allowed, but Zero is now allowed, and this is where we fought Craft. But the rest, the rest of the stage, like the rocks, is not there, so it's weird, isn't it? So we just gotta get out in peace by just rolling, 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 rolling. Do a barrel roll. Zero's doing a barrel roll. Let's go back to the sea. Talk to her and then go to Ragnarok. It's finally time for Ragnarok. I'll transfer you inside. Try to find a way to disable Ragnarok's core without destroy destroying it. If the core is destroyed, Ragnarok may break apart. With both Whale and Kraft gone, who could still be running Ragnarok? Uh, actually, Whale. Zero, I have a bad feeling about this. Just be careful, okay? Alright. This mission? Yes. All right, ready for transfer. Transfer. Zero. You don't have to worry that much. Zero, this isn't good. Ragnarok is speeding up. If if you halt the core now, you might still be able to stop it. Hurry. I'm counting on you. All right. So this, and also this music. Hear it. It sounds like a washing machine, <laughs> don't it? it the, the mu literally. If you listen to this music, it sounds like a washing machine. Don't kill me, please. Yes, because I want the flame sword for the rest of the stage. I really want this flame sword. Yeah. Alright, oh, we got a glacial. I was like racial, but so. Alright. Oh, and a glacial again. Oh god. Oh my god, my eyes are my eyes wet. No, it's... Oh my god. And then this time we can select uh, a boss. I'm gonna go to the bottom one first. You can probably guess what this one is. If we fought him first. Magnus. It's this time I will crush you with your gun. Ragnarok will destroy the world, and Area Zero will be dead too. Sorry, I don't have the time for this. Get out of my way. Raw. 
does the same roar, okay. Oh yeah, you can do that as well. Uh, you can make more blocks. And then you have to like, get out of the way. And then... Oh, he appears there! Oh god! And he'll grab you sometimes. Change like electric. Uh, electric magnet. Put him here. It's too late. Even with the red gun. Alright. Oh, yeah, skip it then. And then. Yeah, you can make it like a phone sound there. Let's go in this one next. Who's in this one? Besides my snotty nose. Uh, Gemblin. He trusts. He trusts. Here we go. Oh wow, we did that uh, nice for you. Right, let's just do this then. Oh, he's weak to electric. Oh yeah. Alright. Right. Got him! What I did craft and just do. Uh, Alright, uh, this one, I think that's the famous one of all, let's see, chicken, oh my, left like this, we're both going to meet our ends by slamming into the ground below, pick up, pick up, I hate to lift the ground, to get the first, but I could have the pleasure of crushing to myself, pick up, pick up, yeah, just kill the chicken again, Poplar Cup the Factory, the chicken, oh boy, because I want to eat him so much. Alright. Oh wait, can I? If he was like there, I could like, almost do that. Now I can beat him up. Throat hurts. Alright. Uh, what's this one? Uh, Tech Kraken. Here we go. He sounds like a ninja. It's what I used to use this normal flame sword for. But I realised he takes more damage with this attack than the flame sword. The normal one. So meaning it's pretty much unnecessary to use that. Oh. And apparently I killed him by throwing it, because we don't need it anymore. I'm gonna snotty nose. Oh, I wanted to do a phone. Alright, uh, what's this? Who's this one? Uh, titanium. Alright. Alright. Let's get her. Whoa, okay. Now we can destroy our fans. And again! Yeah, bad girl! Naughty girl! Alright. Ha, you naughty girl. You deserve it. <laughs> Alright, uh, here's the other one. <laughs> no, uh, let's go up there first. Uh, I think it's Pegasol. Yeah, that's it. Alright, here we go. Whoa! Right. Yo, monkey, but not me! Oh, he's almost dead. And, uh... Come on. It's 
funny that death quotes. Especially a couple pictures. This is a chicken. I wanted to do that phone noise. Alright. Uh, is this one Mandrago or Lunar Edge? Lunar Edge, this one is. It's not itching my hole. <laughs> okay, it sounds like that. Alright. And he is and he is more weak to the fire as well. Uh, not the normal flame sword really. Yeah, we defeated a wolf. And the wolf could go. There we go. Alright, now for uh, Mandrago. Who replenishes her health. Alright, here we go. Oh! Oh, wait, what? I thought... Alright, here we go. Oh, whoa! That's a lot of damage. It's what you deserve as well for being a naughty girl. Naughty woman. A naughty lady. <laughs> Alright, now we can go... Now we can go to the last boss. Which it is whale, so basically see how she'll be in the fight. Oh, and we're in and washing machine song again. Oh boy. Uh, whoa! Whoa! Oh! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god. No, no. Alright. Oh, these uh these guys are here. Right. I'll actually grab these. Alright. Oh, we got a V-missile! Oh, okay. I thought there were more variants. Alright. Alright. Just gonna... Alright, there we go. And that is every enemy in the game. Normal enemy, so... Just gonna go through here. And off to the final area. This thing. So this is the Ragnarok core. Hehehe! <laughs> Welcome to your front seat for the end of the world. That voice, Doctor Whale. How did you survive that attack from Ragnarok? <laughs> oh God! Survive? That's easy. Because I can't die. What happened to you? <laughs> did I... Did my mechanical body surprise you? Did you think that I was a reploid and you could fight me? I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I'm pure human. Even with a body that looks like this. How? When the Dark Elf took control of the reploids and destroyed the Mavericks in the Elf Wars, the humans of time modified me. They transferred all my memories to program data and switched my body for the armor with the power to re rejuvenate me. Do you have any idea what that means? I can't age and, and wounds heal more quickly than normal. After the war, I was cursed to live in an in, in eternity in the world without light or nature. Humans expelled me from the Arcadia. Hmm? Oh. Justice, freedom, worthless ideas. You Reploids are just machines! But you started a war a long time ago in the name of freedom. And humans look what they did to me. Driving me away while stopping the word justice. Zero. Would you insist on saving them? Controlling the Reploids is nothing. The destruction of all mankind is only fleeting. Not quite alive, not quite dead, forever by my side. 
I'll make you suffer a fate for a greater than ever anything ever experienced before. And now what's he gonna do? Oh no. Oh my god! <laughs> I'll teach you there is no place for a fool to hide. Fools must live under my rule and my rule alone, thanks to Ragnarok. So now we gotta fight Dr. Whale for last and for all. And he can teleport and he has these like rocks attacks sometimes. But you might think he's hard. Nah, he's easy. Well, for me at least, in ultimate mode. And then he also has these green things that can replenish his health. Not a lot, though. So, not too much. Oh, I didn't know he has that attack. I've not seen that attack before. I think it's because I have an A rank. Wow. Oh, and then this attack. He spawns Mega Man Zero Free bosses or Mavericks. Okay. I don't know if that's possible to dodge. Oh, and then the other one. Got ya! Alright, here we go. Last last boss in the Zero series. Oh boy! Here we go! Ah, uh, I can't stop the descent! Zero! Reaching critical speed! If it goes any faster, I won't be able to get you back! Hurry! No! This isn't over yet. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I told you I can't die. Nobody can stop Ragnarok now. Zero, there's no time. Get back here. No, there, there is a way. If I destroy Whale's core, the explosion will take Ragnarok out with it. If Ragnarok is blown apart, it is no longer poses as a threat. But what about you? <laughs> Are you even capable of it? Reploid hero. Protecting justice and humanity. I am one of those humans you were sworn to protect. Do you have it in, in you to defeat me? Uh, I think I do. Oh. oh my god, he's being pumped up. Oh Jesus Christ, he's the pumped up whale. I never cared about justice, and I don't care, and I don't, I don't recall ever calling myself a hero. I have always only fought the people I believe in. I won't hesitate. If, if an enemy appears in front of me, I will destroy it. Zero, zero, zero! CL, believe in me. Zero! Alright, we've got 120 seconds to do this. Yes, we are timed, and then I also recommend this weapon right here. And you also need the gun, of course. And the reason I recommend that is because it can go through this right here. And thus, bring more damage there. Okay, there we go. All right, uh, we'll change back to that and then change to that. And because this is going to be the end, we'll use an E tank. And we'll kill him once and for all. Alright, we'll use the sub one more time, and we're done! Oh 
What's going to happen to Zero? Here's our score. Boy. Wow. We took a lot of damage. And we're going to get an, um, we're going to get an A rank. Oh my god. We've got an A rank for the entire playthrough. Wow. That is impressive. Oh boy. Surprise not an S though because obviously it's harder. Ragnarok is breaking apart. Ragnarok has entered the atmosphere. Most of it will burn up in entry. Impact in Area Zero has been over. Mission that's successful. Zero! Come in, Zero! Zero! Please! Come in! There's no response from the receiver. The connection has been lost. Where's she going? CL? Oh, we got some music. I think we might know what have happened. Oh, a shooting star! Wow, look! A lot of shooting stars! Probably from Ragnarok's explosion. Alright. Ah, look at all the team. No, those are pieces of Ragnarok. Does this mean we're saved? Craft. Zero. Did you reach zero? Hmm. Zero? Why? How could this happen? After saving all of us, and just when humans and reploids were finally coming together, what do we do now? Hmm. It's okay. I'm sure Zero is still out there. And one day, he'll come back to us. CL. And that is Mega Man Zero 4. The entire series of Zero Games done. Sounds like a sad song indeed. What has happened to Zero? And look at CL there, she's like upset or something. So sad. But yeah, Mega Man Zero 4, um... Uh, not perfect, but very good though. Especially as a last Zero game uh, in the series. And then you got ZX and ZX Advent, which are not Mega Man Zero games, but they are like basically similar in nature. Oh god. Yeah, and those and those vocals, uh, those were actually um, in the original Japanese release, which were changed in the English version. But when the, the DS collection came out, they decided to keep it in the English version. And in this collection, they did the same thing. I don't know why. But they but they still haven't did it for ZX Advent uh, vocal songs though. <laughs> Only this one. I wonder if that, does that mean that Capcom has the license to these songs in in like non Japanese countries then? Since it's uh, it's weird that the X ones didn't. And I like how some people in this game, uh, some people who made this game were from Natsume as well. And a few other companies, I guess. So not just Inti Crates and Capcom, but also uh, Natsume as well. The, yeah, Inti Crates and all the Sapphire Capcom. And, and me? I didn't create the game. See, I'm still sad. Oh boy.
Then she stands up and looks at the sky. And the shooting stars. Zero, you've believed in us. Now it's our turn to show you that your faith this in was not misplaced. Watch, Zero. I'll make this world a better place. One where humans and reploids can walk hand in hand, living in peace. Just come back Sunday. I, I, I believe in you. I mean, I love you. <laughs> no, not really. What's, what's next? <gasps> no! What the hell? He died? Plant Panic minigame added. Busy Basket minigame added. Lum Lumberjack minigame added. Lava Surf minigame added. Elf Chase minigame added. Slam Harvest minigame added. Energy Lab minigame added. Like, don't reward me these after Zero's death. Like, come on. No. My <laughs> no, my dude. No. Damn you, Capcom. I hate you so much. <laughs> nah, just joking. Although I'm guessing, um... Unless it's just like him resting or something, I don't know. I hope it's not him dead. 51 minutes? Wow. Okay. Uh, that is weird. And then you'll notice we got all mini games again. Like, we get awarded these minigames after we know that Zero died. Well, of course, I'm in uh, casual scenario mode, so... But let's just say Zero is not dead because it will make me so happy because he's my dude. But don't say I'm bloody gay. Stop that now. Alright. So, yeah, we got all the minigames unlocked for casual scenario mode. In the database... Oh, we've not got exactly everything. I think you have to get, like, every character in that. Which I haven't. Oh, but we get to know some bosses, though. So, Carnage Zero. Yeah, yeah. Then Craft, we know him. The Cyborg, and then the Subcore. Oh, that's the first boss. And the wh Whale, and then... Level 2. You have the Giant, right here. You can also have the others. They also have... Yeah, the, the R Bandam. Wow. Alright, and then you have the gear bank. Yeah, these are the, the mini bosses. The enemy bees are the normal enemies. And then others, we have Owlet. Hyrondel. Yeah, that's the, the guy. Uh, Caravana. Colbor. CL. Survey. Zero. Oh, I, I think he is alive because he's there. He's right there, my dude. Don't say okay, huh? And Tempeat, Neej, Whale, Falcon, Rouge. Yeah, that's one of our navigators, I guess. Sort of, not navigator, but still. But yeah, that is um, Mega Man Zero Four. So yeah, that is uh, Mega Man Zero Four, guys. So. Next time in the Mega Man playthroughs, um, I don't know if this should class this Zero series or not, but we all do Mega Man ZX one day, and then ZX Advent. Uh, but still, um, I'm surprised I've not even looked at the gallery for all the previous games. So let's just look at a few of them quickly. So we have the Japanese art with Zero One, uh, the first door that CL goes in. And then Zero, my dude. And then CL. And then the other characters, the Golem. Yeah, you have Asset Falcon. Uh, this thing, uh, Anubis. Yeah. Ganar Chief, I think his name was. Okay. Sagaroth. Uh, yeah, Hounder Machine. Yeah, there's Harpoo, yeah, Fefnir, Phantom, and uh, Lyphon. 
Yeah, and there's Copy X and then his final form. We even get the Cyber Elves to look at as well, even their evolved forms. So you can, yeah, so every time you feed them E-Crystals, they evolve kind of like Pokemon. Including one rare one. I think it's here. I don't know. Um, uh, it might be here. I don't know. Yeah, here. Uh, there's Jackson. Uh, the rare elf. Uh, zero two. Let's look at the Japanese artwork. Uh, another artwork. Then zero is changed. Oh, green zero. Wow. There's CL sitting on something. There's El Piso. Uh, the two, uh, to Rouge, and I think the other one's name is Janet, or some, I think her name was. Yeah, the other group. Yeah, these. Yeah, El Pizzo's sexy form. <laughs> and then his final form. And then the other Cyber Elves, which is someone new. Alright, Zero Free, the Japanese artwork, which is kind of boring, it's just Zero's face and then Omega next to him. Another artwork for the game. And then zero, 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 zero. I think this zero is used on the title screen of the game by default if you don't have the e-reader thingies. And then this one's used on the American box art. And this CL. Yeah, uh, even these ma even these Mavericks show like their human forms, which is very cool. And then they're non-humans as well. There's Robotnik. No, not really. And then all the humans there. Yeah, there's Omega. Yeah, just one difference. This one, obviously the color difference, but this one is holding his back. This one has a sword in front of him. <laughs> and then it's X is zero, Omega form, and then uh, Omega zero, who's just not breaking the fourth wall. Then we have all the cyber elves again. They look different. And then Zero Fours. You know, the Japanese artwork. It's also the American and European box art as well. Another artwork. Based on the game title screen. Uh, Zero Knuckle. There's Alette. Yeah, Nij. All the other characters. And then all the Mavericks. Including my favorite chicken. Alright. Craft and an old uh, cutscene. Uh, Cyber Elves. Oh wow! Um, uh, the Rockman Zero Four logo, and in black and white. I'm guessing it's based on like the commercials for the game. And chicken. Yeah, I want to eat the chicken. And then obviously it's the actual cutscene. Yeah. So. Um, so yeah. And yeah, and also, if you're wondering, what about the European logos, you're asking, how do you get them? Because you can only select, uh, for each, you can only select Japanese and English, but for ZX and ZF segment, you can have the other the European languages as well. Well, to get the European logo, uh, you have to have it in English mode, of course. But the language setting for the collection has to be changed to nothing, to anything that's not English or Japanese or... Chinese or anything. Just these European languages. French, Italian, German, or Spanish. We go with German, for example. There you go. They're right there. And then when you boot them up, they'll even show. Right here. Very crappy MS Paint looking logos. And the same thing for Zero Free. It'll look even worse with your e-reader uh, changes to the title screen. Guess, I guess you can still look, you can look at more of the uh, sprite, I guess, but still. And then Zero Fours, it looks worse with Zero Four. Yeah, it looks even worse with this one, <laughs> in my honest. Which is strange, because in Mega Man X Collection, the X Legacy Collection, you, you can change the European languages for X7 and X8. But with these ones, uh, and also, besides the logo change, nothing else has changed, so like... Uh, Hellbat Shield is still called Devilbat Shield. It's not Hellbat Shield still in Zero Three. You still get the American 
uh, alterations, not the European editions. Uh, which I don't think there's many. I think it was only that uh, Hell That Shirt one in Zero Three. And then back to US logos, which we prefer. So yeah, that is the Zero series, so we're going to do the ZX series next. Uh, uh, I don't know, maybe after Zero Four, maybe in the future, I don't know. But I will say though, I am not really keen on ZX Advent that much, at all. Which I've played the original Japanese then. I'll play for English then. Uh, but I'm more keen on uh, normal ZX though. Um, and I'm guessing they put them on each side because Zero Series is GBA and then the ZX Series is Nintendo DX. So, yeah, that is it for today, guys. Um, uh, thank you guys for watching uh, this Zero Fourth playthrough. And I'll see you guys in uh, next time. Uh, so, Video Game Jam Poop out. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!